morning. My name is Latasha. I am Bertha's daughter, one of them. <laughs> and <laughs> this evening, we are going to start off with just some basic stretches. So if you're seated, if you'll just make sure that your feet are grounded, we're going to sit at the edge of our chair, but we want to make sure that we still are, um, that we're not going to come forward out of the chair, okay? So you want to start with your hands rested on your thighs. Mm -hmm. We're going to start with our upper body. So we're just going to take our head in a circle. It doesn't matter which direction, but we're going to slowly begin head circles in one direction, nice and slow. Try to get your ear as close as you can to your shoulder without shrugging that shoulder up. Chin to your chest. Let's hold it here. And now let's go in the opposite direction. Our chin is at our chest. Again, going in the opposite direction. Good. Slowly take it around in a circle. And we are back to the center. So from here, let's go ahead and bring our chin to our chest and hold it there. Make sure we're taking in our deep breaths in through our nose and blowing it out through your mouth. And from here, let's take our, our ear doesn't matter which side, our ear to our shoulder, and let's hold it here. Take that opposite hand and take it and place it either underneath your thigh or hold on to your chair and kind of pull away from that ear. And release. Again, let's do the other side, ear to your shoulder. Take that opposite hand, put it underneath your thigh or hold on to the chair to deepen that stretch. Good. And let's release it here. Now, let's incorporate our shoulders. From here, we're just gonna bring our shoulders up toward our ears and roll it back up and roll it toward the back, both shoulders. Good. And now let's stop here. Let's isolate one shoulder and let's bring it toward the back, forward and back. Good. Two more here. Last one. Now let's try that opposite shoulder again, rotating toward the back. Reach up toward that ear and back down. We got two more on this side. That's it. Good. Now, if everyone can sit nice and tall for me, we're gonna take our arms up Toward the ceiling, open those fingertips, slightly gaze up. Let's go ahead and take a deep breath in through your nose. Blow it out slow. Bring those hands down slowly. Bring them down toward your knees. If you can, I'm gonna sit back a little bit for you. If you can, place them on your knees and then slowly let them fall down to your shins. Now let's go ahead and drop your chin and allow all the tension to release out of your neck. From here, let's take those hands, let them slide all the way up your shins up to your knees 
and back to your thighs. Mm. Slowly bring your chin and your head back to a neutral. Good. Now we're gonna do one lower body. If you are able, take one of your legs, place them across your knee. We're going to take that and press it a little into your knee, just a tiny bit of pressure to open up our hips. This is very important as we continue to get younger <laughs> um, we are, or wiser. We need to be able to be flexible to tie our own shoes. So this is a good hip opener. Okay. Now let's go ahead and bring that leg back down. We're going to swap to the other side. <clears throat> go ahead and reach and bring that leg up. When you're ready, put a little pressure on that knee to open up your hips. It should not hurt. We just want to apply a little pressure. And from here, bring that leg back down. Okay. Now we got one more. I want you to reach down, grab your knee, and wiggle your feet in a circle. It's also very important to get the blood flow going. So we have to make sure that we're always doing some movement, okay? Especially when we're doing seated lectures, um, you wanna make sure that you're, you know, actually either standing frequently or getting some movement in at some point. So let's go ahead and take the other leg into a circle with your feet. Good, and now place it down. The last exercise that we're gonna do is just with our toes. Um, if you have on your shoes, use this can still be done. All we're gonna do is take your foot and place it where your toes are downward and then flex the foot so your heel is grounded on the floor. So you're just going back and forth a couple times on each side. And go ahead and plant that foot. Let's try the other side, heel and toe. Heel and toe. One more time, heel and toe. All right.